right, time to do a little, how do I fix this problem? The problem for today is a crack record, kind of like this Rosie in the originals. I'll show it to you guys right now. And I got a Julio Jaramillo with just a small crack, not a crack all the way through. A Nuestro Juramiento. Both classic records, what do you do? If you want to record them or you want to fix them temporary or for a little while, but you definitely want to get some good use out of them. I wouldn't want to throw them away. And there's a way you could actually play them with the crack. You just got to be careful how you position the record when you play it so you don't destroy your needle. But I actually asked an old timer what he used to do with 78s when that used to happen. And he shared with me, I imagine a lot of people know how to do this, but obviously some of us don't. The good idea is you put tape on the on the back side and then once you have it taped on there it's going to be sturdy enough to record it the other thing you can do is that i thought about is how about putting some crazy glue on the flip side on the side with the tape and that'll kind of help increase the playability of the side you want to play plus also most of the time the b side is is nothing anyway so if it doesn't matter for you on the B side, you can go ahead and do that. And I'll show you guys what I did. Here's a Julio Jaramillo. Let me see if I can find a nasty crack. It's right about there. I don't know if you, you can see it. You can see it right there. You can get it right on the light. Right there. It's not that visible, but this is a solution here. And the painter's tape works the best. And you put a little bit of crazy glue on there. And what it does, it kind of reinforces the tape. And then it'll play pretty awesome. The Rosie and the original, you get that one, you can see the damage on it. Let me find a crack right there. And this one's cracked all the way through. But after I did what I did to it, which I don't care about the look of it. I just want to be able to play it. And then another trick that you can do is you can set it down on a firm, something firm where the crack is. And what you want is you want this side to be, this side to be higher than that side. So you're not cutting your record, but actually dropping into the grooves. And the way you achieve that, you just press a little harder on here and it automatically kind of just puts that a little lower. So check it out. See what you guys think. This is a. Julio Jaramillo, after it's been repaired. You'll still hear a little pop, but I mean, it's a $2 needle. It's not gonna matter. Now that you guys saw this one play, check out the, oops, the Rosie and the Originals. And that one actually plays a little better. And I think they're strong enough to even be able to put them in the record box, especially if you got like a wood or something stiff enough, you're gonna be all right. So we'll get a little more play out of these beautiful records. I'll be posting this up on my Instagram, but it'll also be on my YouTube at Got Old School with the question mark. Thank you and enjoy your 45s. Have a great day.